Wonderful. So, give us an update on that police uh, situation that you reported earlier. Um, okay, um, when we got in here before 8 o'clock, INEC was already on ground. The voters were already on ground. And, uh, but then we didn't find any policemen on the ground. It was later on, um, men, men of the Civil Defense Corps came, came on board. And of course, we also saw men of um, the Federal Road uh, Safety uh, Commission. They also came around. Then um, about 30 minutes ago or so, we saw a few policemen. They came around here. And um, I don't know if they are still around now. Okay, yes, we can still see a few of them there. About uh, three of them came around. But there's been a heavy police patrol on the major roads. Uh, while we're even coming to this place, we saw a lot of them. Uh, but not at the polling unit. Uh, we really don't know what happened. But a few of them just uh, got in right now. But voting has uh, actually commenced here in the Shogu the Shogi Square, right here in uh, Yenegua. You know, Yenegua actually has the largest uh, voting population um, in Bayelsa State with about 217,000 uh, uh, registered voters, followed by uh, the south. Uh, that, that's uh, Ijo parts, the south of Ijo. Um, we also have right here um, civil society groups. Yeah, A lot of them are actually present monitoring proceedings at this place. Um, it's been peaceful so far. People are actually out casting their votes and um, INEC has actually been up to the billings. They, act, they promised that this was going to be the case and they are actually discharging their duties. They have all materials and um, also with me right now I have um, a South-South coordinator of one of the civil society groups who's gone round and is still going round monitoring situations on the ground. Um, Mr. Obasomi Jude, how are you doing this morning? You probably want to just give, bring, up, bring us up to speed as to what has been happening within town. Okay, thank you very much. I'm of the Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room, the South-South uh, Red. Uh, we have about um, 200 uh, observers spread across the eight local government councils of the state and they're already giving us reports. Uh, first of all, in terms of the timing of when the pools were open, most of the average they tried quite well. But we observed that in some areas, the number of persons coming out to vote is not too significant. Recall that uh, as at uh, last week when the INEC gave statistics of the number of voters that have played their PVC, about, um, I think on the average, they say about 96% collection rate. But what we are seeing in some of the polling units we have visited, I doubt whether we'll be able to get that percentage of um, you know voters coming out to vote. However, we also observed that some of the voters that came in, for example, this polling unit was six, we are in a polling unit 15. Some people came with their voters, but they could not actually find their names on the on the on the on the voters list. So they were directed to go to the Bayesa Medical University and some other places. And some of them started grumbling. We thought I never would have been able to at least address all these challenges that they experienced during the uh, 2023 election. By and large, the atmosphere that we have seen so far in Yenogua LG, where I'm currently observing, is quite peaceful. But there's this level of apathy among the people. Most of them are not interested. And when we try to prove further, they keep on recalling the experience of 2023. However, with what we have seen, they are currently using the Beaver machine, machine to identify the, the voters. Uh, you can see where they are actually casting their ballot um, paper. It's quite open. And you can see the presence of um, you know, some um, polling agents of the various political parties in, in, in attendance. But we've also observed some level of um, this issue of support. I don't know if terms of buying of drinks and food for people is going on here right, here, right now. Once you vote, they take you to a corner, they buy you food. I don't know if they're going to call that on our vote, but that is what is currently going on. The atmosphere is quite calm. Both parties are currently, you know, interacting very well. And this area we have, we have now is one of those flashpoints that we are told that more or less very violent and what have you. But we just pray that um, the level of um, the, the peaceful nature of this place will be sustained until after the election. I pray that at the end of it all now, the, the, the results will be uploaded. But that has been the major concern of most of the persons here.
All right, thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Obasomi Jude, um, one of the civil society um, observer right here. There are a number of them. You know, it has always been a case of um, high voter apathy in Bayosa State, with just a um, million zero fifty six thousand people collected their PVCs. And um, in the past elections, we've always had like maybe 20% or max 30% of these people coming out to cast their votes. We don't know if that will be the case today, but people are still coming in. They're still um, casting their votes. We hope that it continues until uh, 2.30 when this session would be over. But so far, so good. It's been peaceful and we hope it remains peaceful. Well, one, we also understand, um, Chris, and you may want to speak to that. Uh, we uh, observe that uh, former President Goodluck Jonathan um, has also voted. Uh, let's uh, see the process. Okay? That's the, the, the assurance that that's the, uh, the former president going about to cast his vote uh, right now. Um, as you can see right there, that's the time that he came around to, to cast his vote. In the company of his wife, Bukola. Yes, indeed. And, 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 and uh, the former president is from Obwea local government. We wonder if that's where he's uh, casting his ballot. If not, um, I don't know. We, I don't think his ballot voting unit can be moved for him. <laughs> moved, yes. <laughs> okay. So that so, would be Obwea local government. Okay, so that's uh, that's him. Uh, you know. O yes, uh, Otweke. Uh, voting there. Well, that's a good one. But Chris, let me quickly come back to you. I mean, the location where you are right now, it's quite crowded and almost like it's unorganized. Uh, is that the way it's supposed to be? Um, okay, right. Um, where I am, right, we have about uh, six polling units here. So that's the reason you have uh, people at various uh, polling units doing their casting their votes so they actually it's coordinated you see your polling unit like we have 14 here and behind me i have 15. so everyone knows where to go vote and that is what they are actually doing at the moment because um INEC, before they started actually gave them the rules and regulations told them what to do briefed them you know and um, of course, I'm sure that's what they are actually doing at the moment. Okay. There's been no, there's been no hitch. It's been very, very smooth. Well, so quite, quite, quite uh, nicely put, Chris. But I don't know if it's uh, well. Bukola does have a question for you, but I don't know if it's possible for us to uh, find a civil society um, official there who might be able to speak to that rowdiness, so to speak. That's what it looks like, mm. but. Maybe it is. I don't know. You'll be able to pick on someone shortly, but Bukola does have a question for you. Bukola, go ahead. Yes, indeed. I, uh, besides the uh, disorderliness of um, the background behind you, Chris, uh, one thing is um, unmistakable, which, is, which seems to contradict what Mr. Obasomi said, the turnout. It's quite busy where you are. Uh, I, I assume that most of them are out to vote and not necessarily you know, just out to see what's happening. Is that the case as well in other polling units that you have visited, or uh, the turnout is much lower? Well, I, I think this is one of the very big polling units around this area. So you definitely would expect a lot of people come out. So there are a lot of people here, but they feel that much more people could have also come out. But it's also possible that people just vote and they leave. And some might still come in, you know, much more, uh, much more later. Um, but I think it's one of the very busiest that we've visited so far. And um, so far, so good. If you can see, some people just came in, they are still searching for their names. And as soon as they are done with that, they proceed to the next level. And uh, we don't really have cases of those who could not use the beavers. It's been going on very well. Uh, I think INEC, INEC did pretty well, but uh, by the time, by the end of the day, we'll definitely get to know if uh, the security agencies would also step up and do what they are supposed to do to ensure that uh, there's no problem, so to ensure that uh, conflict and challenges are, are forestalled. Well, it's one of the things gladdening is uh, that 
um, for every arrangement, the political party agents are always there to agree. There's some kind of consensus, at least that's what we heard from uh, Topa Kutei in Oweri the other time, that the party agents agree about the arrangements. Is that the same case where you are right now? No rancors, no disagreements with all of the arrangements, particularly the concern we're raising about how the whole place is looking where you are right now. Uh, you know, I have actually monitored uh, some other elections be before now, and it's usually the same way. They, they do the same thing. Right here, I feel they've had maybe an unwritten agreement somewhere. I've not had issues where they had fights, quarreling. They just watch the process. They know what they've agreed to do. They know what they want to do, and that exactly is what they're doing. Um, I think it has also aided coordination right here. Okay. Um, there's always that agreement. There's always that consensus, you know, amongst them. And I think it's also playing out right here. And we do hope that it stays that way, Chris. It's been some time since we last uh, interacted with you, and I'd like to find out if you have any update about um, voting in coastal area, particularly uh, in Sagbama, southern Ijo, where INEC reported about nine hours ago uh, about um, the uh, uh, vote mishap where they lost election material. All election officers, according to INEC, are safe. But INEC also reported the abduction of an officer who was on his way to um, another coastal area who was abducted at Amasoma Jetty. Is there any update on uh, these incidents? Uh, so far, we've not gotten any update on that. You know, um, the police, I really don't know what, why they came in here late, first of all. It's possible they were having a talk on, or a talk on this issue. But hopefully, after now, we we'll, um, go to the police headquarters to see what is happening around there and uh, probably get information. We already know that the Nembe, the Brass, those riverine areas are flashpoints. And of course, the rate of voter apathy there is always very high. Um, I want to believe that the security agents, agencies knew about this and of course uh, would have deployed adequately to ensure that um, every issue of crisis is actually um, well handled. But I don't know how far they went. But as at yesterday, we saw deployment to some of these regions. Um, well, let's just hope that at the end of the day, they are able to um, recover the abducted INEC official and, of course, um, also avoid any issue of further mishap because these are things we need to take absolute care of. We know it's a river run area. I mean, adequate preparations are respected to be done, to be carried out to ensure that um, issue of both, both mishap, kidnapping, they are adequately dealt with. But that is not what we've seen so far, because that one case is a spoiler so far for us. And we're hoping that we don't have more of these cases. But at the end of the day, we should be able to get further information on this. We don't want to rely on hearsay or disinformation and misinformation. We want to take our time and get the right information from the right source. And I'm sure by the end of this day, we should be able to get that. Thank you so much for that, uh, Chris Lems, uh, at Yenagoa in Bielsa State.